All right, guys, it's Sean Lyra here. Today we're gonna be fishing with a jerk bait here. I'm fishing here in one of the ponds that I used to fish in before these hurricanes come through here and messed up everything, guys. And this is the first time I've been back to this here pond since the water's kind of went down a little bit. It's still high right now, but I'm gonna see how the fish, see how the fishing is in here, see how how much it's affected. It's affected this here pond here and everything, cause I've been to like six or seven other ponds that I used to fish and they're completely just like wiped out. I mean, no life in them. But we're going to see if this here pond here, guys, has got some life in it. We're going to see if we can catch some big bass for y'all, guys. That's what I'm going to be using right there, guys. It's a Rappler. It's like a ZR, a XR10 or something they call it. It's got a little feather tail at the back. But we're going to see if we can get some fish out of here for y'all. We'll get right back at you. What I'm going to be doing is just throwing it out, making a couple jerks with it, pausing it, and see if a fish will pick it up that way. A lot of times fishing with these jerk baits, fish like to hit it on that pause. Fish like to hit it on that pause. Like I said, it's a suspending one too. Sometimes I like I like to use the ones that float. Sometimes I like to use the ones that float, and I stop it and I let it float all the way to the top, and let it sit there for about five or six seconds, and then pop it back down again. Sometimes them fish like to hit it on that stop. Oh okay. guys, uh oh guys, look at her hit it on stop guys. <laughs> Yay. He hit that baby on the stop, guys. First cast with the Rapala, guys. And I was sitting here just talking about he that fish hit it on the stop, guys. When I stopped that lure and let it pause there for a second, when I went back to move it, he was already on there, guys. He had already loaded up and he was already on there, guys. First cast with this baby, guys. Oh, somewhere. But nice little bass, guys. I'm gonna throw him back, guys, and we're gonna get back to fishing. Alright guys, we're here in the pond guys, and I'm picked up the fluke guys. I got in the pond at first, I had the jerk bait out. I got the fish and had some bites with it. Then I got the looking guys, there's, this pond's kind of flood, still flooded, a lot of the water's real high. And there's a lot of water up in these spots here that's that's kind of, that's flooded out a lot of timber in here. A lot of stuff up under the water now, you know, because the water's like still uh, two or three or four foot higher than what it's supposed to be. About two, I say about three foot higher than what it's supposed to be. I've been seeing some movement up in this brush, guys. And uh, and like I said, that's what I'm gonna be fishing with, guys. I'm moving to this here fluke, guys. And we're gonna try to catch some fish here, guys, in this here, like I say these flooded waters here. All right, guys, we got the fluke out, guys. We're gonna be fishing here in this in this flooded part right here. This here flooded part here and see if we can uh, get some of these bass that's holding up in here in this here area, guys. Like I say here in this, uh, like I say from all them storms and all that rain we've been having a lot of the, a lot of the spots are kind of flooded where you're fishing at. And there's a lot of new water in these ponds that I've been fishing. So I'm going to try to take this. I'm going to get this fluke up in there, guys. And see if we can get a big one out of here for y'all. Kind of give me a little skip. Y'all seen that little skip I just did? Y'all seen that? Then? But never mind the line, guys. I got green line on here. You know, I don't, for me personally, guys, I don't recommend any kind of color line at all. No kind of colors on my line I really don't like. You know, but this here just happened to be, I just bought this pole uh, yesterday. We went to the beach and we stopped at this little store and I seen this rod in here, this dial. It's a dial rod that I got. It's a little bit longer. It's a seven foot one uh, spin cast rod. Look at her, see how it zoomed up in there? Spin cast rod, guys. I need a little bit longer rod to fish this fluke. Fishing up, fishing this fluke up in these, uh, fishing this fluke. Cause I was using kind of a short. Look at that. Oh God, y'all see that? Water? Got him on the fluke, guys. He busted it too, guys. Come out of them trees, like I say that. Uh, did these flooded waters here? Like I say, there's a lot of lot of water up in, up up in new spots now. A lot of a lot of timber just uh, submerged under water here. And this here pond down I'm fishing, guys. And that's where I just brought this baby. Any kind of just say with the flooded waters and everything. Just say you you know you got to keep your eyes out for you know anything moving. You might see a spot of grass that's moving around, guys, or you might see something that's making a little bit of motion guys and that look there it goes guys he just come up there oh god you see <laughs> guys he come up there i don't know exactly i don't even know what that was guys but this long rod guys this long rod you know you can be you can lay it to him with this wrong long rod guys i did not mean to snatch that fish out the water like that guys it just happened i think that was a brim or something guys but we're gonna throw right back in there we're gonna throw right back up in there and see if we can get another one to jump on. Guys, that was wild right there, guys. That fish almost almost hit me, guys. I'm telling you. 
Like I say, this long rod, guys, you can you can snatch them out of the clean, out of the water. You just seen that guy. But we're gonna get right back up in there, guys. That might be another fish up in there. In that same spot, guys. I'm gonna try to keep this boat kind of steady a little bit. The winds are blowing. There might be another fish in that same spot, guys, sitting in there. And he warped that thing too. He was gone running. I, I, honestly, I didn't even get to see exactly what that was. He was coming at me so fast, guys. <laughs> he was flying at me so fast, guys. I did not see what that fish was. That was wild there now. Yeah, that was awesome. It looks like I've got this here here hung up, guys. This flute hung up. We're going to get back off here and get back at you. Well, matter of fact, guys, what I'm going to do, what I usually do in this instance, guys, if I get hung up with a one bait, what I'm fishing with, I pick up another bait. And if I want done fishing that spot instead of just going straight up there and messing the whole spot up, I pull another bait out, guys. So I'm gonna pull my trick worm out, my finesse, my uh, my trick worm here, my black trick worm, and I'm gonna go up in that same spot, guys, and see if I can pull one out of there for y'all, guys. We still trying to get up in there in that grass, guys. I'm up in the grass now. Got finally made it in there. For this worm. Now we're gonna pop it through and just see if we get pick one up out of this spot, guys. Get another one to bite here. In this right here spot like i said we're right up on the boat now like i say this is what i do sometimes like i say if i'm hung instead of going straight to the spot and pulling my stuff straight out i still fish it i still try to fish just fish the spot out and see if i can pull one out of, out of the, the there it goes guys <laughs> he's a little one guys look at her i still end up getting in this hole and getting a little bass out of here guys he's a small one well, I'm going to snatch him out of the water today, guys. He's a small one, guys. Yeah, he's a small one, guys. But like I say, he's a bass. He killed that killed that trick worm, guys. Look at him. He might be about, about 9 or 10 inches long or something. But he's a bass, guys. We're going to throw him back. We're going to throw him back in the water, guys, and we're going to get back to fishing. Okay, guys, you just seen me catch another bass, like I say, up in this grass, guys. Like I say, up in this flood, the flooded part right here, guys. Like I say, that's kind of my pattern that I'm going to be doing, guys. Just fishing up in this here water in this wherever it's flooded at and there's water there. That's where I'm be fishing around. Like I said, that's where I'm caught. Like I say two or the three bass that I'm caught today. Like I say, them bass right there, I just caught them back to back. You just seen me sling one. Did y'all see that? <laughs> Damn monster. Monster. Right. Me sitting here running my mouth, guys. And that was a monster just moved from behind me, guys. My lord. That's what happens. When you got a big mouth, guys, you out here fishing, you scare the big ones away. Ain't that something? But we're gonna be I'm gonna be fishing this flooded. I'm gonna catch. I'm, I got a feeling that we're gonna get a big one out of here today, guys. I'm gonna be fishing, like say, some of these submerged woods in here. Like say, this right here was all land, you know, last time I come here. But now it's submerged. Like say, we got all these floods and everything, guys. So I'm gonna get in here and see if I can get one of these big ones out of here for y'all. We'll get back at y'all here in a minute. Y'all might see me trimmed up during this next video, guys. Y'all might see me trimmed up a little bit. I need to go get a haircut. Right, guys, we're back at it. Back at the same pond, guys. I just had to run and get my, my hair cut right here. Had to, uh, had a little point with my barber and I say he went and got my hair cut, guys. But we're back in the same pond here, guys. I'm going to be running down these edges, fishing this black tree worm, guys, and see if we can pull any of these bass out of here, guys. Like I say, this here is after the hurricane, guys. You see the bank right here. Look at the bank behind me. All downside that bank there, guys, there was the grass. This grass, I don't know if you can see this little bit of grass, a little patch of grass right there, if you can see a little patch of grass there. But this grass span out. 10 to 15 to 20 foot off the bank that's where them fish was up in there you know used for cover and that's where they gathered up at now it's gone all that grass is gone so we're gonna fish these edges guys to see if these bass is still holding on these edges or they're more in this flooded timber i caught some when i was here earlier if y'all seen the video on the front of this video i caught some in some of that uh, like i say some of that flooded out uh timber area that was like in the middle of this here pond you know it was like an island but now it's flooded out and some of the banks is flooded out and there's some trees and stuff in the water and fish is holding in there but i'm gonna see if i can get them around these banks too guys you know and see if they're you know see if, see if they're still on these edge, up on these edges guys we're gonna fish these edges all right guys i'm fishing with the the black trick worm guys zoom trick worm here like i say i'm fishing this um fishing these kind of flooded woods here in front of me like i say i'm right off the river i'm in a pond it's right off the river and like I said, this here pond flooded out like many other ponds around here. Like I say, and the fish seem like they're moved up in these, these flooded timber parts of this pond that once was bank. This one once was bank here that I'm fishing, but that's where I'm fishing with this here trick worm, guys. So we're going to get back at y'all with some fish. Let me skip on that. Oh, guys. I just skipped on a nice one right there. I don't know if y'all see that or not. But there was a nice fish up in there, and I just threw right. 
I mean, I startled that fish because I skipped it right in there on top of it. There he goes, guys. There he is, guys. There he is, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a spider. Get in there, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. That was a nice bass, guys. <laughs> I don't think this is the same one that moved, guys. I don't think this is the same one that moved, guys. Like I say, boom, guys. Another nice little bass off the black trick worm, guys. We're going to take him off here, and we're going to get back to fishing, guys. All right, guys, I got a question for y'all. I just caught this here bass, guys, and his tail is eight all up. Look at his tail. He's bleeding from his tail, guys. He's got some blood just dripping from his tail, guys. And like I say, and it's the, you know, he was back up in here. He was holding some real shallow water back up in here, guys. Like I say, he's got a, he's got some blood running from his tail. I don't know if he's been, I don't know exactly what he's been doing. I don't know if he's been, uh, been fanning something or something's been something's been messing with him but he's got a cut up tail real bad guys like i said we're gonna throw him back guys and we're gonna all get right, back guys, at y'all just see me pull that bass you know out of this here flood timber like i said all i was using was the black trick worm guys kind of a slow presentation i was kind of working kind of slow it was kind of underwater when you hit it slow presentation i mean that's what they're doing guys that's what i'm figured out here doing in this here pond that's like the fourth or fifth bass that i'm caught like this so you know that's how they're biting guys like i say Got to overlook the green line, guys. It come with the pole, so I might keep be catching more fish if I didn't have it on here, guys. Like I said, but the water's real dark here where we're fishing at, and uh, like I said, this line was on this pole when I got it, so I'm gonna try to just. I'm gonna probably change it tonight when I get home, but I just figured I'd use it today since it's already on there. And I'm using a seven foot two rod, guys. Seven foot two rod. This is a dower rod. Like I said, I just picked it up from a, a store that we, we went to the beach yesterday. And I just picked it up from a store. You know, that was on the pier guys like I say it make a good fresh water pole good stick good good uh it's not a real stiff rod but it's stiffer than my worm pole it seems like i can pull the, i can handle the fish a whole lot better with this here rod and i can skip with it real good like i say too if you've seen you know some of my skipping throws that i did like I say it skips real well guys but i'm gonna get back to fishing guys we'll see y'all in there yeah, hold back up in there too back up in that spot in there i'm gonna try to skip oh yeah right under them trees too guys i seen one move too when i put it in there there he goes, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There he goes, guys. There he goes, guys. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, guys. Yes. Boom. He milked that worm, guys. He milked that worm, guys. guys just pulled this another bass up out with the black trick worm, guys. Skipped it up in that hole up in there, guys. And he nailed it, guys. Like I said, I'm finding these fish. I'm finding the pattern, guys. These fish are all in these flooded spots. All this timber and stuff sat around these sticks. Like I say, they're not on the main ponds on the regular banks. They're up in these flooded spots, guys. Like I say, we've been catching them today, guys. We'll get back at y'all with some more bass, guys. We got the fluke out this time, guys. Right here, some more uh, flooded timber here. I'll be skipping this fluke up here close as I can get. Up in this flooded timber right here guys close as far as I can get up in there I'm gonna skip this fluke in there guys and see if we can get one of these back with her y'all see that bass y'all see him floating there and hit it guys I just missed him right here guys right here at the boat guys he's still down there too I bet he's still in there moving too guys I'm gonna move it up look look y'all see him <laughs> that's crazy all right guys we're back at it guys I mean I threw that fluke uh, that black worm that black worm up in there guys and Look what I hung into, guys. A monster bowfin, guys. A monster bowfin, guys. Got him on the black, the black trick worm, guys. I wish y'all have seen him when he hit, son. He come through there and he nailed that thing. I'm kind of got him wore down now. He's been splashing water, guys, all on top of me, guys. And like I say, this is probably gonna be my last catch that you're gonna see. The last catch that you're gonna see here on camera. Like my phone's about to go, oh, there he goes. Good catch and release right there, guys. Good catch and release. He's gone now. Huh, look, glad I didn't have to deal with him. That's what I got him on, guys. The trick worm. He nailed it, guys. Guys, you just seen me hang that black fish, guys. That was a that was a good pull. I missed. I didn't get to get it on video, guys. I didn't put my stand my phone on my stand. It's about to go dead. I said this is really the last time you're probably gonna see me on here, guys. Till next time, guys. I said if you enjoy my video, guys, drop me a like, guys. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming up with some more great videos like this right here, fishing videos. You know what I'm saying? Me getting out and let me know what y'all want to see more of or hear more of, guys. But in the meantime, guys. Every day is a great day to get out and let's go fishing, guys. We'll see y'all on the next one.